I really should get another video done. What for? How about all my fans? You don't have fans. It's not that bad. It's so cold outside. It's miserable. Look at all the snow. I haven't done one in a while. Hey man, do you want to be a bitch today? Do you want to feel like a little bitch? Do you want to walk around all day knowing that you could but you didn't? Okay. everyone it's been a while welcome to the never ending weekend welcome to the next bronco build day um, i'm going to be doing two things the hammer built rear tailgate reinforcement as well as the jcr rear bumper but i'm going to split it up into two different videos first one is going to be the tailgate reinforcement hammer built has this cool accessory bracket uh, i've seen a lot of videos on youtube where they mount a rotopax to it but i'm going to do a traction board i haven't seen many videos like that so we'll see how that goes so for those of you who live in a more moderate climate, you might be wondering what all this white stuff is. It's salt. They put it on all the roads whenever it snows. So unfortunately it gets all over your cars. Anyways, first thing you have to do is take off the rear wheel. So apparently this strut that keeps the gate open um, may pull the door out of alignment, even if you have the bottom shimmed up. So we just got to remove this so it's not pulling on the door. So here's a close up of the strut. It attaches the same on both ends. So you just have to take off one or the other end. But you just have to pull out this clip and then it'll come right off. So use a very small flat head screwdriver. There we go. For shims, I just measured up a bunch of cardboard and taped it together. Um, it will compress a little bit, corrugated cardboard, so just make sure you shove it in there really tight. After you remove the tire, take off the stock tire carrier with a 13 millimeter wrench. Um, I've already shimmed the door so it stays level once I take these off with 45 Torx. Uh, but first, it's the tire carrier. Okay, because I have to install the plate right over the hinges, I'm going to wipe them down so there's no salt in there. And what you want to do is remove the top two first, loosely placing the plate before you do the bottom two, just so that you don't mess up the alignment of the tailgate. These spacers are included with the uh, hammer built system to keep the plate off the, the Bronco hinge. After putting these ones in place, I just finger tighten them. Then you go around and add these in here using the supplied hardware. So the last thing to do is to torque on these bolts. It's probably a good idea to put Loctite on these bolts as well. The tire carrier and the hinge bolts are both spec to 18 pound foot. Um, my mechanical torque wrench only goes down to 20. So I'm going to use this uh, old school torsion torque wrench. Now I just have to reinstall this a hydraulic gate assist and then um, attach the tire back on and then try some of the accessories. So snapping this clip back on was a little bit tricky. If you notice the slots here and there, you start the clip there and push it forward into place. After figuring that out, it was pretty easy. I knew I should have finished yesterday. So here's the accessory mount and the flag mount. I might add maybe a wee boost antenna or maybe even a flag. And here I've seen a lot of install videos that have the Rotopax gas jerry can on there, but I uh, haven't seen too many with the traction boards. So I'm gonna try installing that because the traction boards are too long to put in this two door Bronco. Well, you'd have to fold down the rear seats anyway, so I have to carry them on the outside. Eventually I'll put a roof rack up and maybe attach it there, but for now this might do the trick. 
Ugh. Wait, that's wrong. This has to be sideways. That's me, man. I have the factory Goodyear Sasquatch tire. Um, so I can use the innermost bolts. Uh, obviously you can shift it out one for a bigger size tire. I don't know if it'll go up to 40s, but for 37s for sure. These metal bolts are freezing just to hold on to in this temperature. Torque spec for the rear tire is 41 pound foot. The max tracks seem like they sit a little low to me. Um, so I put it a little higher. See, what, what do you guys think? Do you think it looks uh, better higher or lower? Let me know what you think in the comments. This Tread Pro bracket works really well. The attachments are really quick to use. And lock in place. Well, they don't lock in place, but they're solidly mounted. And if you guys notice, I did the rest of the rear. I finally put that bumper on with some lights. Does it match the front Fab 4s? This is a JCR off-road bumper. Check out here to see if it does or not. That's it for the hammer built tailgate reinforcement installation. I'm going to add an antenna here or something later. Until then, have a great weekend, everyone. It's cold.